Yo, Jenny Gang, what it do? So, we're back. Y'all see, I took a deep breath because of the commentary I'm about to do. We're back for another Jenny Gang YouTube video. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to my channel. And comment on my commentary. I'm sure there'll be plenty of comments. So, unfortunately, a couple of hours ago, it did hit the internet that DC Young Fly's wife, Jackie O, has passed away. There aren't any definite details yet, but we're not dumb. We know that she was in Miami getting a mommy makeover. Um, actually, the surgeon that she was going to, I don't have his name. I'll try to at least put the words on here if I don't get it before the end of the video. But he's the same surgeon who done the Claremont's twins, bodies, and also he done Carisha from City Girls body. So I want to say rest in peace to her for starters. My condolences most definitely go out to her family and DC Young Fly, his family, because I know that's messed up. He was actually in Atlanta filming new scenes for a while and out when he got the news. I know it had to be both sad and such a shock to him the same way as a shock to all of us. Now, she had just posted pictures, I believe, and said she was fine. And I think her surgery had already happened. So this is why everyone's putting their common sense together and figuring she must have had complications from her surgery so the surgery that she got is a mommy makeover if you go down my list of cosmetic surgery videos you know that i had a mommy makeover uh two years ago february 2021 and i also got it done in miami and the issues that I have with my surgery, obviously, God is good. I'm still here talking and breathing. I was never concerned. Like, like not because I'm not going to say I wasn't concerned. I was never going down there thinking I'm not going to come back. But sometimes there are other things that go wrong with these surgeries. Death is the absolute worst. When you listen to my videos, I'm mainly telling you that I just really don't like how my surgery turned out. Okay. So there is this thing, you know, from, it's not just from males to females. It's also females who don't agree with cosmetic surgery. And while I will say it is dangerous, and while I'll say that I'm one of those people, I love life, you know what I'm saying? I love every day of life, good days, bad days. I'm so grateful to be alive. Surgery is one of those things that women like, me and whoever else is considering it or women who've had it and wouldn't mind having it again we look at, at surgery just like the uh statistics on anything else so when i get in a plane i'm always like oh god let me get me there get me there get me there right because a plane to me is scary to just feel like i just want to get to point a and point b but i'm in my car right now getting ready to go run an errand Car accidents are way more prevalent than plane accidents have ever been, right? People still drive cars everywhere they go. People still ride planes, even though they're scary, right? It's one of those things like you can never say a woman doesn't care about herself or her life because she gets surgery. It's just a choice that you make. And like I said, of course, nobody's making an appointment for cosmetic surgery and saying, all right, let me get my mommy makeover on Tuesday and my funeral on Friday. It's just something that unfortunately happens. Now, I don't know the details of what happened with Jackie O, but based on the fact that this surgeon has so many celebrity clientele i'm gonna say it's just like many surgeries where something just went wrong and that's unfortunate there are some surgeons out here that's living shady like meaning they're doing things that you know they're not taking a hundred percent precaution on helping you make it through there are some surgeons like that you know and that's just plain evil and careless and and it's greedful you know or if, if that's a word y'all y'all know what i mean greedy 
They just want the money and they don't care if you make it out or not. There are surgeons like that. But what I'm talking about, I'm trying to give my input on surgeries that go correct. Surgeries where maybe the worst thing that happens is like mine. You just don't like the way that it happened or whatever, but you live it and breathe. And nobody plans this stuff and says, oh, I'm going to go pass away on my three kids. Jackie O had three kids and a husband. And, you know, from what we see, a good life. She just simply made a choice to change her body. And I'm sorry, I don't think anything is wrong with that. Do I think you should do all your research and make sure you ain't going with one of these undertaker surgeries? Yes. You damn sure better. Do I think that you should make sure your BMI, which BMI basically that has to do with your weight. Um, I, I want to say... It has something to do with your heart, but it, it's directly concerning weight. Like, I don't know the girl's name, but there's a really big girl who just got a BBL last week. And people were saying, you know, it just from the looks of her, her, B, her BMI couldn't be healthy enough or low enough to get surgery. Her surgeon proceeded. And guess what? She's been posting she's fine she got some stuff done to her chin or something she's got a bbl but that is the point that i'm making it is a choice you can definitely go with somebody that don't care about your life as a matter of fact i'll go on a limb and say i will say 70 percent of them probably really don't care just like your family doctor doesn't care right they're in it for the check but there's a small percentage that's like yeah i'm gonna do everything right i'm gonna still make a bag but i'm gonna do everything right if this girl don't qualify she not getting on my table. If this girl just had surgery and just want to get a correction, she just want to rush and get it, she ain't getting on my table. You got to be a responsible doctor and a responsible patient. We are living in a different world today. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Some stuff I like, some stuff I don't like. But surgery is one of those things that's on the rise. And... I guess you could say, unfortunately, what happened to Jackie O is not going to stop women from getting surgery. It probably, in this backwards-ass world, because she's celebrity, her doctor's celebrity, it probably put, it's just putting surgery more on the map. Like, oh, Jackie O, a mom of three, she want to get surgery, she went got surgery. Yes, they'll all be like, well, now she died, but they'll still tiptoe around and still get surgery. So... This is what my advice is. My advice is probably going to be different from a lot of vloggers who are going to talk about this topic. Do your surgery as safe as you can. Okay? Don't do no dumb shit. Um, the foreign countries, Jenny Gang going to say, I feel like they shake the body so much better than we do over here in the States. But guess what? I think that's adding an extra risk to it. Because my when I was talking about doing surgery and I, I wanted to go over to the DR, my best friend, who is foreign herself, begged me not to do that. She's like, Jenny, can you at least not go to one of these? I think she called it third world country. She's like, because, you know, if something do go wrong, it you know, it's even more of a, you know, like not a hassle, but it's more of a situation to get your body back into the States and back to your family. Like, I hate to even talk about death, y'all. Like, I, I hate it. I hate it. But this is a sticky subject and a lot of people don't agree. I have a homegirl that she, you know, me and her don't agree. She don't, she, oh, I'll never get a surgery or whatever, whatever. And different people have different reasons why they don't want to get a surgery. Usually... It's not nothing about people being afraid to die. I'm going to be honest with you. And I told my friend the same thing. I feel like some women are against surgery just because they can't afford it. Point blank period. Sometimes it be hate. Um, the men who talk about surgery. My boyfriend, he complained about a lot of stuff. But I think that's one thing that he kind of really don't bother me about. But the men who complain about surgery, they will tell you not to get it. But they're going to stare Ari down when she walked by. Probably be in a DM. They're going to stare. Um, what's the, the older lady? She's 50 years old, but she don't look like it at all. 
I can't think of her name. Dark skin lady, being booked everywhere. They gonna stare her down. They gonna so. If you're not gonna get surgery, don't get it because you don't want to get it. Don't get it if they tell you it's not safe to get it. Don't get it because you got somebody else in your ear telling you that they don't think you should get it. It's just a conscious decision, just like anything else. My elderly mom is having some sort of surgery in July that she has to have. I don't want her to get it. But she, she, you know, needs to get it. It's something medical. It's nothing to do with cosmetics. My mother is an old school grandma. She ain't, and she is would agree with the people who say, don't ever do cosmetic surgery because my mother loves her children so much. She didn't want to be at the thought of not having me. You know what I mean? So this is a different opinion. I don't know if the other influencers who have surgery gonna come out and say, what i'm saying which i feel like is the truth it's not gonna stop nobody from getting surgery if anything like i said the world is so backwards things happen like y'all know like these crazy drugs and stuff like that you will hear about a crazy like flocka a drug or something like that where people are passing out getting high from it and they fall asleep almost dying and the next thing you know everybody want to do that drug it's like that's stupid to me don't get it twisted but what i'm saying is surgery is one of those things it's not going away it's getting more and more easy to get but check out your doctor check out his clinic and when i say check you gotta double triple check because especially these overseas doctors they do a lot of scrubbing on their record and some of them just living foul I had used to dance with a girl who she she was some sort of foreign um, descent, but she got surgery in Mexico, and she said she almost passed away three times on this man table because she needed a blood transfusion. To me, that don't sound like a doctor that probably be doing what he's supposed to do. He sound like one of them doctors like, if you make it, you make it, and you don't, you don't. So she was discouraging getting surgery in mexico anywhere and y'all they got them hands too they sculpt and do stuff nice too but they are very very careless they're very very inexpensive but y'all go ahead and <laughs> drop the comments let me know what y'all thinking remember this is really my opinion and just how i feel and yeah like the video, subscribe to my channel, catch y'all on the next video.